As anticipated, November has been quite the busy month where I worked on various projects and tasks to run and operate my small art business. Hi, I'm Jen, an artist illustrator currently based in Austin, Texas, and today I'd like to share what November had in store for me and my shop. I found that this month, I didn't really make a lot of finished or fully rendered out art pieces or illustrations. Most of what I created this month was for the shop update that I was having. I had to design some packaging for many products and I also made a pack of four printable coloring pages. The packaging was super quick and easy to design, but the coloring pages took me a few days to come up with the ideas and the sketches and then to do the line work. But I guess the only finished art that I made was the monthly wallpaper freebie set for my newsletter subscribers. I included my frog character in this month's wallpaper and I drew him reading a nice little book. I really liked how this one turned out and I think it just perfectly suits the vibes of November. Everything else that I did in terms of art I made was much looser and more for fun and in my sketchbook. Back in October, I started a new sketchbook that I've decided to dedicate to only black brush pen doodles. I would like to fill up each page with lots of cute and small random little doodles. And so far I've done three pages one of which that I did for my most recent Draw With Me video. And in that video, I talked about inspiration and how I get inspired to make my art. But I don't know how long it will take me to fill up the rest of the sketchbook. I just know that it is one of my goals to just stay consistent with using it from now and throughout the next year. I just want the sketchbook to be the one that I grab whenever I have some free time or whenever I need to warm up before working on a proper piece. Pen doodles have always been something that I've enjoyed doing, so I thought I'd see how I like having a special dedicated place to keep them. I've always been a one sketchbook at a time kind of girl, but since this one has a specific purpose, I've somehow also started another two around the same time. I have a small little square one that I'm just experimenting with and trying out different mediums in it. And this larger newer one I'm using as just a regular sketchbook where I sketch out ideas before working on any art that I'd like to create. In the first pages of this sketchbook actually, I've been working on my ideas and sketches for my next coloring book. It's going to be a winter themed book and I plan to officially launch it in January with a pre-order coming sometime soon this month. I am just really excited to share more details about it and I really hope that it gets just as much love as my fall coloring book. It is my goal to bring a few more books in 2024 and I'm just so excited and ready and I'm really looking forward to sharing that process with you and bringing even more books to you. One of the most exciting purchases that I made at the very end of October was my first ever Hobonichi planner and so I am just so excited when I received it in the mail. I know that previously I mentioned that I was interested in the A6 English Hon with the Tiny Dragons cover, but I ultimately decided to go with the Black Gingham cover. I felt that I wouldn't really like the navy blue color of the tiny dragons and felt that the black gingham would just better fit my style. I'm just feeling very excited to start using this planner in 2024 and I've already started using some parts of it but I'm not doing too much setup as I want to test out different things throughout the year to find out what best suits my needs and my system. I'll still be using my Notion Planner too, so I'm just trying out a hybrid system to see if I like it better than having a fully digital system. And one reason that I want to add a planner to my system is because I want to have a place where I can track my time and the hours that I work, but also a place to track some of my goals and my hobbies. For example, I would like to get back into reading for fun, but also to learn and educate myself. 
Recently, I've picked up some more art books that I think would be a great source of inspiration, but also that I think will help me on my artist journey. The first is the How to Be an Explorer of the World Portable Life Museum by Carrie Smith, which I think just sounds really interesting and I am ready to delve into it and see what it has in store for me. And another one that I got is the Draw Like a Child, Take Chances, Make Mistakes, Find Your Artistic Style by Haley Munn, which I think will definitely help me with getting more of my ideas out and just being more free with my art. I'm just so happy to add these books into my small library of art books, and I was thinking of making a full video in the future sharing what else is in my collection. Heading into this month, my main priority and task was my last shop update of the year. In this update, I was releasing my first acrylic keychains and acrylic phone charms, as well as a couple of new washi tape designs and a pack of four new printable holiday coloring pages. Since I had already received my products, the main work that I had was to take the product pictures and make the listings, which altogether didn't really take too long. The bulk of my work was actually in making the coloring pages and setting everything up for the sale that I was also running during the week of Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Overall, the shop update went really well and I just wanted to take some time to discuss how everything went and just overall how my shop did this month. So to start, the star of the show was definitely my coloring book. Since I launched this book, it has steadily picked up traction and almost every single order that I packed this month included a coloring book. I honestly didn't expect too much in the beginning since I've made a few other coloring books at the very start of my art career a couple of years back. And those books honestly kind of flopped. So of course, I put more time, energy, and effort into this book and I learned from my last attempt, but it's still amazing and so shocking to have results that exceed your expectations. This month has been my shop's best month ever, and so I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has interacted with my content by liking, commenting, or sharing my post. And of course, a huge thank you to everyone who has placed an order. Everything that I do and everything that I create is to help spread happiness and to help others connect to and heal their inner child. My art is cute but simple because it is what I know a past younger version of me would have loved so much. And so pursuing this journey has really helped me heal so much in different ways over the years. And I am so deeply passionate about the things that I make, so it truly warms my heart to see that there are others who like my art and also feel happy when they see it. This book and the others that I plan to create are just extra special to me because it's not just cute art that you can look at and see, but it also invites you to spend some time for yourself to unwind and relax. This book is for everyone and anyone, and not just something that kids can enjoy. So I just want to say, again, a huge thank you to everyone, and thank you for all your support, and I just want to say that I appreciate you so very much. My focus heading into the final month of 2023 is to finish a year on a high note and begin 2024 on the right foot. And to do that, I've been reflecting back on how this year has gone and I'm paying attention to what went well and areas where I've had to learn some lessons. This is my second year of running my small business and this year has been so incredibly good to me and I've had a lot of growth that I'm both very proud of and so deeply grateful for. So as we head into the final month of the year, I want to write out my list of goals for 2024 and figure out what my new intentions will be. In my next video, I plan to bring you along as I reflect and look back at my 2023 goals and then share with you some of my plans for the new year.
I think it's good to share these things because I feel that it can be helpful to any other artist or small business owners who are just starting out to see how I plan and set my goals. So if that sounds like something you'd like to see, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. And if you found this video interesting or helpful, feel free to leave a like. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and I appreciate you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day and week ahead of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!